thank you for being with us because it is our 12th session and if you could remember kinag-usapan natin last night there are alam mo yun, transcendental sandwich yung nectar ng mga um, scriptures ng process lagi na sa gitna like in the movies diba yung plot twist yung climax diba halos na sa gitna siya or na sa gitna talaga then maga outro so the bhagavad gita tonight is the most important sa mga sessions natin and don't worry lagi akong superlative kasi in the spiritual world walang competition diba lahat superlative <laughs> lahat super lahat best but of course it's extra special kasi yung title natin for tonight is The Secret Ingredient to Your Spiritual Journey. And this is very important din sa atin. But of course, good evening, Hare Krishna. Amaya, back din Amaya, Hare Krishna. Hi, um, back to Jeff, Hare Krishna. Good evening, hello, hello. Uh, Jesse, Hare Krishna. Hmm. Iba yung background mo ngayon na. Hare Krishna, good evening. Um, back to Joyce, Hare Krishna. Back to Kael, Hare Krishna, good evening. Hi. Uh, back to Marjan, back to Kaloy, Hare Krishna, good evening. Back to Marlene, Hare Krishna. Uh, back to Rob, Hare Krishna. Back to Rachi, Hare Krishna. Back to Maui, Hare Krishna. So, this is the prefix um, back to or back to. Those who are practicing back to. So, it's um, the title given. Um, na practitioner ng bhakti. And speaking of, sobrang importante nga yung session natin kasi it is about the importance ng real bhakti, ng pras- process ng bhakti in our lives. So, let's move. And you know the drill. You should be in the mood of request, in the mood of humility. So, join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Dahil pala nagas chat box. Nasa chat box. Hello, hello. Ganda, um, ganda lang ginawa ni Keiko dito. May mga nag-play pa. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos kay Keiko. Ang ating ano. Canva girl. Om Ajnati Miranda Shajanan Jana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tashmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasvati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatya De Satarine Vanchakalpa Taruvyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyevacha Patita Nampava Nevyu Vaishna Nevyu Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vashadigo Bhakta Vinda Everyone Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So this um, yung last mantra is usually recited when one is um, studying the Bhagavad Gita before he studies or read the Bhagavad Gita. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So, last night, we talked about head. Why? Kasi the Supreme Personality of God is Krishna. We are um, hearing this is the portal ng ating spiritual journey. True hearing. Kasi the process of um, building that 
spiritual love will start sa hearing. Then, faith will develop. Kaya hindi siya blind faith. One should understand it first. So, hearing muna. So, it will be awkward kapag ah, maniwala ka lang tapos di mo alam kung ano yun tungkol sa anyon para sa anyon. You just have to believe. Kasi no choice. Ito lang yung kinalakayan natin or ito lang yung sa culture na to. I mean, um, sa lugar na yun, ayun lang yung practice. Diba? Tapos di natin naiintindihan. So we should hear. And of course, the more we develop it, um, the more we progress sa path of um, back to yoga, sa ating life, the more we would want to hear. Because to understand life is impossible. We can just understand a little. Lalo na to understand the Supreme. So we are continue, continuingly hearing. Even decades ka na um, nasa practice ng, or nasa spiritual journey. You should always hear. Hindi mo, pa din, hindi mo masasabing alam mo na lahat. <laughs> yung nagasabi ng alam mo na lahat, sila yung in, a, in an illusion na alam nila lahat. <laughs> and in reality, the more you know, the more you know that you don't know a lot. <laughs> the more na mas mapupunta ka sa mood ng pagiging student. So hearing is very important. And also the Krishna mentioned that he is everywhere. He is even the taste of water, the sun and the moon. Diba? May mga ano. Thank you universe. Inarin siyang universe to sa akin. <laughs> because we are um, resistant na. Allergic ka tayo sa word na God. Um, dahil nga sa mga previous na mga experiences natin. Ang dami mga hypocritical na mga nangyari or yung mga nag-lead is not just not really qualified. They act differently from the way or the teachings. So tayo parang, uy, parang cringe na, parang ang corny na sa atin. Tapos, punta tayo sa impersonalistic uh, part. Um, the light, the universe. So sino yun? Of course, Krishna is also the universe. Kaya yung, pati yung sun and moon, that's his eyes. Even when you see the streams ng earth na to, that's his veins. Tapos yung mga trees, ayun yung mga hairs niya sa body. So si Krishna pa rin yung um, tiyatawag siyang um, the Lord of the Universe, Jagadishvara. So he's everywhere. But much more personal. Kasi alam mo yung pangalan niya, alam mo paano kumunik sa kanya. Hindi ka lang nanguhula kung sino man yung nandyan. <laughs> to whom it may concern. <laughs> Mag nagdasal ka no? or nagmeditate ka. To whom it, it may concern. <laughs> Sana. So, may personal relationship, iba kapag meron ka ng connection. That's why it's yoga. To connect, to link. So, accept or reject, may mga taong, may apat na taong mga payos na nag accept may mga apat na taong hindi. Iba, sobrang talino lang, in material sense, they would be egoistic. Kaya nga, they feel that they know it all. But of course, they could be a victim, no? frog in the well. Naalala niya yung frog in the well. So, because of our own previous experiences, doon natin gusto intindihin yung mga bagay-bagay. Yes, um, we need to hear so we could compare logically, makita natin, would it make sense? Then, like the scriptures or the the teachers, the bona fide teachers, bona fide guru, so, pag nalaman mo yung mga qualification, alam mo na qualified, bona fide siya, then you can jump. Faith will start. So, ayun yung start ng faith. Hindi siya, um, talagay mo lang yung faith mo doon out of nowhere. Kailangan alam mo sa nalagay. So, di ba parang usapan natin first and foremost, we're, we don't want to waste time sa mabubuhos yung oras mo. So, move both in time and energy mo, your, your um, um, endeavor. Tapos, bandang huli, ay, ano pala yun? Bogus pala yung pinagkagawa ko. Ilang taon ako nag-invest doon ng, uh, ng oras, ng pera and all. Tapos, malalaman magalon lang. Hula-hula lang pala nung pseudo leader yun. <laughs> so, yun. Diba? Sa, <laughs> parang ano yan eh. Um, ano to? Parang, mabilis ka lang na bola. <laughs> Vulnerable ka. Wala pa experience. Diba? Tapos may sweet talker lang. 
Tapos, di ba? It's a waste of time. Nabutol ka. Di ba? <laughs> na ano ka? Um, love budol. Hindi pala love. <laughs> Diba? Same. Same, diba? Nag-invest ka ng oras, nag-invest ka ng time, diba? Eh, paano pa yung yung lifestyle mo? Paano pa yung um, some way direct yung love and energy mo? So, we should be careful kasi um, intoxicating ang um, mga ibang elements. Just like power, wealth, beauty, mga intoxicating yan. Um, nakita, nakakita na kayo nung, ano, very simple dati, tapos si mama, tapos ang taray na. Tapos, ano, parang, ano, nagpunta sa US ng, ano, ng two weeks, pag uwi dito, hindi na makakapagtagalog. Aha. <laughs> Ganun na mag-real, mag ano, no. Aha. <laughs> tapos, puro spam lang yung dilata nila. Aha. <laughs> Oh, tinapon na lahat ng mga sardines. Puro spam na lang. Okay, pero pagkakausap lang natin kahapon sa mga ano, sa mga plant-based diet. Pero alam mo yun, nag-gets nyo, nag-gets nyo yung sabi ko. <laughs> so, intoxicating. Or yung umaman lang. Hindi kaya ng emotional wallet na lang. Di ba? Tapos yung mabang na. Or naging famous. Nagbago sila. Mga intoxicating to. Di ba? Yung power. Yung beauty rin. Na feeling nila. Lamang sila sa iba. Not knowing, it is all temporary. <laughs> oh, what you say? What you say? What you say? <laughs> so yes, so that one should be careful. The mga intoxicating na mga um, feeling at achievements. And it will invalidate nga yung success, di ba? Kapag naging um, egoistic. Di ba? Pag may naging success, pero ang yung ang egoistic niya, ay nakikita mo yung ang yabang lang niya. Hindi mo makita yung talent niya. Pero ang sarap makita yung mga tao na sobrang talent at sobrang galing, pero sobrang humble. Parang, uy, nagawa niya yun. Mas mahirap yun. So, mayaya, mayaya paritag yan. Um, the knowledge stolen by Maya. By illusion. Hindi yung may alam lang tayo, awoke, stay awoke, tapos naging preachy ka na. <laughs> Lata lang kausap mo sa internet. No? So, <laughs> so yung demigod, of course, could give material uh, benefit, but it could entangle us. Of course, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Supreme Godhead, could give us spiritual benefit, which is ito yung gusto natin. The material benefit, yeah, we've been through a lot. Naging mayaman, naging mahirap, naging babae, naging nalaki, naging hari or servant na tayo lahat. I don't know with you. Malamang. Pwede, di ba? Naging iba't ibang body na tayo. Naradasan natin halos lahat. In that many lifetimes. For sure. So, minsan parang meron tayong material exhaustion. May uh, excitement, pero may material exhaustion. That's head. So, establishing kung sino yung supreme personality of God. So, personality. Person siya. Pero supreme, hindi yung katulad natin. We cannot just really compare sa atin. So, how to attain him? You must die. Pero don't die yet. Ha? Maraming pa tayong mission. <laughs> so, first of course, doubt. Maraming questions si Arjuna. Ano itong mga, um, ano itong mga um, terminologies na to Itong body, sino yung soul, sino yung nagkukasyon ng body na to sino yung enjoyer. Saan siya naka-reside? Sa heart then And of course, um, if one dies, how to remember the Supreme? So, attaining the Supreme. Diba? So, yung answer na yun will be um, discussed, uh, was discussed sa buong chapter na ito, na chapter 8. To attain the Supreme, one should remember Him at the time of death. How to do that? Yung life mo, that is your um, review. Kasi yung final exam mo, that will be your death. So, may mga glorious death. Sabi nga, take care of your body. Kasi ang hira pag, alam mo yun, hindi ka makahinga. Di ba, may mga tubes ka. How could you utter the word of Krishna? Names of Krishna. How could you remember him? if Painful palagi ang death, pero if too much suffering lalo. 
So, madami and napaganda ng ano ng process of that in the Krishna consciousness. We discussed din natin yun. So that is dead. So ang ganda ng mga realizations niyo about that. Um, it was uh, how do I call this? Nagbigay na clarity because previously we we're just afraid. We we're just ano ba yun? Fear of the unknown. But now we are learning. Ano mga yari after that? Ano yung goal natin after that, after this life? So, inhale, kasi exciting yung pupunta natin journey. The Essence of Bhagavad Gita, Session 12.1, two chapters tayo tonight. Chapter 9, the most confidential knowledge. Confidential and the most confidential knowledge. So, the acronym for tonight is KING. And this is very important because we would learn Bakit King of Knowledge, Raja Vija. So, Confidential, Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, the most, um, the most of the practices, most of the knowledge or realization ng mga tao, napupunta lang dito, yung Confidential Knowledge. Hindi pala ako yung body, ako pala yung soul. Other practices, how to become a human being lang. Do not do this, do not do this, para maging human ka. So then to understand na hindi ko yung body ko, yung soul, that's a different one. That's confidential knowledge. And most of the practices, spiritual practices around, you will observe, dito, no, dito bumabaksak. To realize na you're not the body, you're the um, spirit soul. And any yung mga things to be liberated. Just like the yoga, di ba? Ano yung last pose ulit? Di sa ba? Sa na, na corpus pose. Punta ka tayo. Punta tayo talaga lahat doon. <laughs> Death pose talaga tayo. Wala. Diba? And ma-realize mo you're not the body. More confidential knowledge. It was discussed sa 7 and 8 last night. This is knowledge which brings about enlightenment about Krishna consciousness, Supreme Lord and His energies. Na in- inaaral natin Sino si Krishna? Di ba na alam yung three doers? Tayo, Krishna, and the material nature. Si Krishna kay Krishna rin yun. So knowing that I am not this body, I am the soul, then my higher being, that is Krishna. Tapos may mga energies din siya, yung body na to, composed ng energy na yun. Mga material gross energies. So understanding this is more confidential. Pero ito na yung most confidential. And you won't find it in other... Um, scriptures or other spiritual processes most confidential is in the chapter 9 because it deals with pure unalloyed devotion and delineates the glories of the lord so unalloyed means walang mixture alloy diba mixture ng mga yun, unalloyed so pure devotion wala siyang selfishness bakit niya ginagawa in love unconditional, selfless love. How to connect with the Supreme? So, ito na. Confidential, I'm not the body, I'm the soul. More confidential, okay, may higher being. Knowing that. Most confidential, how could I connect? That is true, devotion. And then, yung language and devotion na yun, the language of love na yun, is service. Kaya devotional service. Kaya back to yoga. Kaya, kasi, totoo naman eh, how could you really connect? How could you really, ah, pag mabait ako, ito na yung ano, masaya na yung just love na ako ni God. Love na. <laughs> ano yung, anong level? Di ba? Maging mabait or ano yung action? Paano mo madidefine yung mabait? Describe din ni Krishna. The karma. Ano yung mabait? Ano yung hindi mabait? Ano yung tama? Ano yung hindi tama? This is not just by perception lang. There is a guide. So, sa knowledge, sa king nating, um, Acronym, I'll read the Sanskrit. Please read Joyce, yung translation. Raja Vija Raja Guyam, Pavitram Idam Utamam, Pratyaksha Bagamam Dharmyam, Susukham Karatuma Vyayam. Translation. 
This knowledge is the king of education, the most secret of all secrets. It is the purest knowledge, and because it gives direct perception of the self by realization, it is the perfection of religion. It is everlasting, and it is joyfully performed. So, si Arjuna, nandito pa rin sila sa gitna ng battlefield. <laughs> Ang dami nila pag-usapan, no? Baga mag Imagine niya. <laughs> and si Krishna, sinasabi niya yung knowledge ito. Raja Vija, Raja is king. Di ba naalala niyo? Maharaj or Rahasulayman. So Raja is king. Vidya is knowledge. So this is the king of knowledge. The king of education. Why? Lahat ng education na meron tayo sa college or kahit masteral pa yan, kahit PhD pa yan, it's all just discussing about the energy of the Supreme. Gets? Kani meron dito? How to become a good marketer, how to become a good artist, architect, how to become a good engineer, or the best engineer, PhD ka doon. Lahat yung energy ng, ni Krishna. Lahat tungkol dito. Sociology, paano yung... Nag-gets na? Nag-gets niyo yung, yung meron sa inaaral natin academically. So, punta ka sa internet, it's the, always talking about ano meron sa energy ni Krishna, ano meron dito sa material world. Entertainment, um, tapos mga know it na mga, ano, mga knowledge, informations, di ba? Ano, plan, favorite yung bata ko, animal plan sa Discovery Channel, di ba? So, mga ganun. Or, pwedeng mahilig ka sa cosmology or astrology, talking about planets, also mga aliens, also talking about the angels and demons. It is all part of the energy ni Krishna. Pero, the one na sinasabi ni Krishna sa Bhagavad Gita is the king of um, education, the king of knowledge, because it is the only knowledge to connect to him. And the only knowledge para matutunan kung sino siya. The king of all education. The rest is talking about different energies, how to use the energy, how to control the body, how to um, maintain the body, how to destroy the body, or how to uh, protect the body, protect the land, di ba? Ang dami. But it's all material. And how to really connect, kaya siya king of education. The real knowledge, man. Tapos, sino yung source niyon? Knowledge na to. Siya mismo. Siya nagkasabi. <laughs> Rekt <Rekta> sa source. <laughs> The most secrets of all secrets. It is open. It's an open secret. Pero, try to read Bhagavad Gita with the egoistic mood. With the mood na um, we just want to elevate ourselves and um, maging competitive sa ibang tao. In the mood of, I'll just, I'll conquer this. I will um, study this so I'll be successful in life. Alam mo yung ibang mood na yun. You cannot really get the essence. Yung essence ng Bhagavad Gita should be studied in a humble mood. In the mood of a student and from a bona fide teacher. Secrets of all secrets. Kasi you can just read it. It may benefit for sure. Diba? Pero, hindi ganun ka fast. Um, fast track. It could fructify or sprout yung seed na, na pagbasa mo. Seed is there already. Pero, baka matagal pa. Pero, secrets of all secrets, ano yung mga gagawin mo? How to become? Ano yung action mo? Then, from that, kung ano yung mga act natin, we will have the realized knowledge. So, secrets of all secrets. And the lahat ng practices, dito papunta. We do the yoga, then the Ashtanga yoga. Pagpunta mo sa samadhi, you'll meditate from, uh, for uh, um, a long time to see Krishna from within. Then, pag nakita mo siya, ano yung mangyayari, you will be instructed and you will have the realization that you want to serve Him. You want to be in a relationship, not just seeing Him. So, you want to really connect. So, same. Kaya secrets of all the secrets. Sa kanya papunta lahat. 
It is a purest knowledge, of course, sa kanya galing. It is not tinted by um, any material um, motives. Because it, ito yung sobrang ganda ng line na to. Because it gives direct perception of the self by realization, it is a perfection of religion. So again, this is, again, this is against um, blind faith. Anong um, experience mo? Direct perception of the self by realization. How? Like, ta- we're talking about we're not the body, we're the spirit soul. Now observe. Every seven years daw, yung body nagka-change. Hindi na ikaw yan. <laughs> so, at the same time, um, na-experience mo yung, um, alam mo yung nanaginip ka, nakita mo yung sarili mo, natutulog. May bird's eye view. <laughs> may realization kang ganun. Or diba yung may mga near that experience, nakita na nire-revive yung katawan nila. So, from that knowledge, na-experience natin. It gives direct perception by realization. So, kaya siya, alam mo yun, na-experiment mo, like science, di ba? Nag-proof mo, nagkakaroon ng conclusion. That's why it's a per- it is a perfection of religion. The rest, or a lot, is just talking about how to become a human being. How to elevate oneself. Papunta dun sa um, human platform. Kasi galing sa animalistic life. Paano? Di ba? Like the Ten Commandments. Turuan ka pa how to become a human. Huwag ka magnakaw. Huwag ka pumatay. Um, huwag ka maging blasphemous. Uh, huwag kang maging unfaithful. Lahat ng mga yun, pag ginagawa mo, it is just being a, being an animal. So, elevating. Di ba, yung mga motivation speaker, ganun din, in-elevate yung sarili. How to become a human being in this human body? <laughs> Kasi a lot in this human body are acting as an animal. But, pag ano ka sa human being, ano yun next? So, that's the real connection. It is everlasting, of course. Um, eternal yun. Walang start and walang end. Everlasting. At this is the um, um, important part, the last line. So, so come. Joyfully perform. How and why the other practices, um, restrict ka dito, bawal ka kumain, bawal ka kumanta, bawal ka sumaya, bawal magawin to. The process of bhakti, lahat yun. Uh, every morning, nakikita niyo ba yung stories ko minsan sa Instagram? Morning pa lang, sumasayo na yung mga monks, kumakanta na. 4.30, diba? Tapos afterwards, 5.30 to 7, meditate sa beads. Tapos, the prasadam is really nice. You don't restrict it. May mga rules and regulation, pero like, yung know, plant-based yung prasadam, no. Sagad mo, kasi you're offering it to Krishna. Every, everything is an offering. The dance, the movement of the body, the music, is an offering. But of course, kailangan mo ng love as the secret ingredient. Love and devotion. Kaya joyfully perform. Exciting, di ba? Yung ibang press, merong mao na brat. You should not talk for 12 years. <laughs> In the process of bhakti, you should not talk nonsense or hurtful words or ill wishes. If wala ka namang sabi nga, if wala ka sabi maganda, don't talk. Pero you can chant, you can sing, you can do in kirtan, you can glorify others instead of fault finding. Kaya come joyfully perform. And when Krishna is um, happy, the servant is happy. The soul is automatically happy. There's an analogy na connected dito. If one waters the root of the tree or the plant, the rest will be nourished. Pero try mo lang, diligan mo lang yung, da- yung ano, dahon. Diba? Hindi, hindi na ganun nag-work yun, di ba? Your root. Same. If one is serving the Supreme, in con- right connection with love and devotion, mararamdam mo may satisfaction. Ka. Just like chanting, that's all also bhakti. Bhakti yoga, I mean, um, devotional service, bhakti yoga. You're feeling... Um, the bliss na hindi mo ma-explain. Diba? You're like, hi. <laughs> That's another level of sobriety. 
pag nawawala na yung effect ng chanting na feeling natin, alam mo yun, um, in that state, um, nagiging cloudy uli, emotional na uli, as you need to recharge. So, ang ganda nito and please read yung four part nito and I would advise that kasi it will help a lot to understand much even more. So let's continue. Develop it, development of that faith is a process of Krishna consciousness. So, di ba, hearing to having faith. So this is how faith is created. If you have your spiritual squad, the association, associate yourself with drug addicts, for sure. <laughs> Uh, tagalan mo pa, tagalan mo yung association sa kanila, for sure. Associate yourself sa mga taong um, successful in entrepreneurship. Matututo ka sa kanila, you'll do that. Hindi uh, ko lang alam kung pag yung mga magagandang bosses pag sumama, kagaganda rin yung bosses mo. <laughs> I think karma na yun, yung karma mo. <laughs> Maganda yung bosses mo. <laughs> Pero the rest, di ba? Um, nagkakahuan. That's association. The energy, the consciousness, di ba? Napapasa siya. Hindi ko lang kung nararamdaman nyo yun. Pag may taong galit sa room, parang nakatense din, di ba? Nararamdaman nyo. O oh, sige, ganito. Kapag may umiyak sa room, sa isang room, di ba nakakaiyak din? Oh. Tapos papaypayan nila yung luwa nila. <laughs> so, may ganun din. Nakakawa yung consciousness, yung vibration. Lalo na if prolong association. Tapos, from our senses, naririnig natin, natin yung sabi, natin yung ginagawa, napapanood natin. So, may different types of um, Krishna conscious man or spiritual person. Of course, one is um, just starting. I mean, five. Starting sa spirituality. These are mood. Now we are always a new fight. Even 20 years ago as practice. Kasi yung mood natin is humility. Of course, because of knowledge, firm faith will be there. Kaya we are understanding. Hindi ka mabibewildered ng kung ano-ano. Kasi naiintindihan mo eh. Ano yung kung ano-ano na yun? Kapag binigyan ng du- um, duality sa, in life. Happiness and distress. Diba? May ups and downs. Stress. Saka... Um, bliss, may pera wala, or in love ka, or heartbroken, alam mo, nangintindihan mo, hindi ka na, alam mo, mabibewildered, basta-basta. And alam mo rin, these are temporary. Of course, highest level is, um, naintindihan scriptures, no chance of falling down means, um, kahit ano ibigay sa kanya ng, ng mundo, sobrang firm niya. And of course, just by his presence, alam mo, yung may taong, nakasama mo lang kahit di magsalita, ang sarap sa pakinamdam, nahawa ka. Just like this, nagigising yung spiritual um, sense natin, yung heart natin, kahit kasama lang natin physically or nakita lang natin. So, radiating talaga yung spiritual energy niya. First, kailangan mo pa rin ng knowledge <laughs> bago ka mapunta doon. So, kaya nga hindi pa rin siya ulit, blind faith. You must understand. Nakakasama ka lang ng mga ano, um, sa, sa mga medyo matatanda na, lagi ko narinig yung story na ito eh. Um, hindi naman sila nagbasa ng Bible, hindi rin sila umatend ng church or any practice na mapansin mo. Pero, um, sa argument lagi siyang ano, lagi siyang ginagamit yung spirituality or yung religion. <laughs> lagi niyang binibring up yon Tapos, ginagamit niya to degrade others. Pero pag mo siya, saan, saan verse galing niya sa Bible? Hindi niya alam. <laughs> or hindi niya nabasa. So, we should not be like this. Uh, I'm not saying, like, the Bible is really authentic. You One follows it, do not kill. Thou shall not kill. Vegetarian sila dapat. Kasi hindi naman sabihin, thou shall not murder. Thou shall not kill. So like, if you're gonna use your, your head, but oh ano? <laughs> killing an animal, the, 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 right, the right grammar. 
killing an animal. Diba sinabing murdering an animal? So, thou shalt not kill. Diba meron part naman sa um, Christianity na may vegetarian, ang tawag dito, mga Adventists, diba? Seventh-day Adventists, mga vegetarian sila. So, yeah, that would be um, them, different interpretation, different um, understanding. Even bago ba kita, may mga nag-interpret din na iba. They tried, they tried. But of course, hindi mo makuha yung essence. So, first letter pa lang tayo. Inconceivable relationship sa king. Letter I. So, don't be overwhelmed dito. Napaka, napaka um, madali lang to. In a sense, when we think simply, if we want to be complex, magiging complex to. Ganun siya. Ganun ka-powerful yun. Achintia beda beda tatva. Achintia is inconceivable. So, if hindi nyo maintindihan, eto na nga yun. Inconceivable nga. <laughs> Achintia beda beda tatva. The inconceivable oneness and difference of the Supreme Person and His energies. The soul, sa nanggaling, is the ener- um, kaling sa energy ni Krishna. Pero, pero, if we want I mean, if um, after this life, we want to be with the Supreme, hindi tayo mag-emerge sa kanya, yung mawawala identity natin. Si Jesse, si Jesse pa rin siya. Hindi mawawala identity mo. Baka iba yung pangalan mo next life, of course. Sorry, pag nagpunta ka na sa Supreme, sa Braj or Vrindavan, sa abode ni Krishna. Pero may identity ka doon. Hindi ka mawawala or mag-emerge ka lang. Diba, alam mo yung terms na ginagamit ng iba ng mga impersonalists? We are all one. You and I are one. Diba, that's impersonalistic. Pero hindi na ina-apply. There's this one uh, um, scholar-scholarly na mga impersonalistic. Tapos, may mga mok na kinakausap siya. Eh, yung mga mok na yung Bhakti Yogi. So, sabi, we're all one. Diba? Pinipilit niya yun. Love and light, we're all one. Sabi ng mok sa kanya, um, if we're all one, can you show me your wallet? A college student yon. So, pinakita yung wallet. Ang kapal. Kinuha nung mong. Okay, since we're all one, lahat na pa magmamayari mo, ako na may-ari kasi we're all one, di ba? Tapos, kunin ko na tong wallet mo. Eh, enrollment na. <laughs> so, tinistory ko. Sa ibang bansa yun. Sa ibang bansa. Um, tapos, umupula sila. Tinuloy nila yung, progr- yung, yung ginagawa. Nakikirtan yung mga mok. Tapos na bewildered yung impersonalist. Teka lang, oo nga, no, tamang we're all one. Pero nasa, nasa kanya yung wallet ko. Pero he's thinking yung, yung idea na akin. Pero we're all one. <laughs> diba? Na-trap siya doon sa sarili niya philosophy. Tapos lumapit siya. Kinuha niya yung wallet. Nakiusap siya. Sabi niya, we're not, we're not all, all one. It's actually impossible. So may mga ganitong um, napupunta na uh, alam mo yun, it's just flowery words. Yung mga nakita mong nag-show ng mga energies and all. They don't understand really kung ano yung sinasabi nila. May scriptures din yung mga impersonalists. It is the incarnation of Lord Shiva. And may purpose niya ba't ginawa niya yun? Si Lord Buddha is also incarnation of Krishna. May purpose niya, siya ba't niya ginawa yun? Ba't siya na-incarnate doon? Then, bumaba siya ulit. At last, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to bring back everything. So, inconceivable, oneness, and difference. Kaya inconceivable kasi nalilito yung mga tao dito without the proper teacher and understanding. Feeling nila, mawawala identity nila. No, ikaw pa rin yan. Pag nakasama mo si Krishna, ikaw pa rin. Hindi na mawawala identity mo. So, that's very sweet. Kasi hindi rin sa, alam mo yun, wala rin anxiety. Yung mga tao, may traces talaga ng impersonalism. They would create, di ba, lahat ng um, wrongdoings para lang mag-enjoy and makalamang this life. Kasi they think next life wala na. So, kailangan ko lang takasan ngayon yung mga law of the land. Di ba? I have this question when I was younger. Hindi ko lang ako nakwento na yun. Um, if uh, God is equal. Bakit may pinanganak na mahirap, may pinanganak na mayaman, may kapansanan yung iba, tapos yung iba um, sobrang ganda. 
Baka tayo pinanganak. Lakas ko pa nga mag-trip na bata pa ako yun, ha? Grade school pa ako yun. Baka tayo dito pa sa Pilipinas pinanganak. <laughs> Kasi mga favorite band ko, siyempre, mga sa ibang lugar, eh. Dapat doon na lang para mapapanood ko yung concert nila. Tapos dito yung mga concert dito, ano? Mga boy band. <laughs> Yung tagrit ako nun. Ba't gano'n, diba? Ba't nila ako sa royal family pinanganak, ba? Diba? Dito pa sa third world. <laughs> Just try to think of it. Tapos sabihin, um, God is equal. E pareha naman pinanganak. Equal naman talaga eh, ba? Diba? From clean slate, ba? Diba? Bakit gano'n yung nangyayari? This was my question because we were, um, we live in a village na sa, um, puro ano lang doon, puro, Average lang. Tapos, cr- across that village, may mga slums. Tapos, across naman nung isang village, sabi lang side, puro mga ha, mayayaman na villages. So, nung ako sa gitna, pinaaral na ako ng parents ko dun sa um, rich village. Tapos, yung mga kalaro ko, pag umuwi ako, yung mga nasa slums. So, nakita ko yung duwa, ayun, ano, yung, yung division ng society. The way, we, the, the, the way they speak, the way yung life nila. Diba? Of course, siyempre, mas masaya dun sa mga slum kasi talagang krabi laro dun. Yung mga kaibigan ko na mga mayayaman. Um, wala, pag uwi sa bahay, wala yung parents. Um, naging English lang, hindi makapag-Tagalog. Pero kasi kasama nila palagi yung helper na Bisaya. Naging Bisaya din siya. <laughs> tapos tawa kami ng tawa kasi hindi siya marunong mag-Tagalog. Of course, ayun nga, tapos dinadala ko lahat sila dun sa, um, sa house namin. Tapos namimit nila iba't ibang tao. Diba? So, yung nakita nila iba't ibang klas. So, that was my question. Bakit ganun? Bakit may ganitong division? Ay, bakit hindi ako nandun sa division na yon Para hindi, ano yun? Wala yung pangarap na iahaon mo yung ano, yung angkan natin, mag-aral ka lang. Tapos, alam mo yung success ng ano, alam mo yung success ng Pilipino? <laughs> Makapag, makapunta sa ibang bansa. That's your, ano, that's the goal. <laughs> Di ba? So, parang dinahanan ko yun, parang nakikita ko yung mga relatives ko sa ibang bansa. So, ano yung Bakit ganun? So, that was my question. Ang daming kwento yun. That was my question. Then, the answer was, of course, because of our peer risk karma, kaya na tayo nandito. So, hindi totoo na nawawala identity mo. Andiyan pa rin. Hindi ka makakatakas. Dala-dala mo yung baggages na yun everywhere. Ayun yung magdetermine kung... Um, ano yung magiging body mo, saka family, papanganak. And when you go back to the Supreme, ikaw pa rin yan. Hindi nawawala. Pero, makikita mo ibang ta, ibang soul din doon. Um, of course, iba itsura nila. If you've read the introduction ng Bhagavad Gita, it was explained there. So, don't be uh, bewildered by this. Just the uh, key is, you will remain and um, have your identity. Hindi mawawala. So, king, non-worshipped, of course, there is Duratma and Mahatmas. Those who are not worshipping, they feel na, this is freedom. Or, I am God. Diba? Hindi ako mag-surrender. They disrespect Krishna's form. And because they didn't maintain the hand, nandun sila sa frog in the well mentality. Tao rin naman siya, dapat gawin ko rin to. Si Krishna maraming asawa, dapat marami rin ako asawa. Gusto nilang idikit dun sa idea, sa idea nilang buhay nila. Kaya do Ratmas, capable minded, very close. They could not expand their consciousness because ang dami ng feeling nila, maintindihan nilang leon depende sa experience nila. Mahatmas, like, alam mo si Mahatma Gandhi, and the explanation ng Maha is great, like Maha Mantra, great mantra. At my soul, so a great soul or broad-minded. So, situated siya. Why well, situated siya? Because of knowledge again. Because of faith. Kasi mayroon siyang magandang hearing in the, uh, from the right source. So, understanding yung sarili niya, and may mga ibang energies, and may supreme, that's the more confidential. Then, ano yung connection? Paano ka makakakonect? Parang inaalam mo anong wifi password. Paano ka makakakonect? Ano yung language to connect to them? To the supreme. So, how do Mahatmas develop? By association with other Mahatmas. Association. So, piliin mo sino squad mo. It will be cool if you have like a saintly person to squad mo, di ba? 
kakaibang barkada yun. No? Kasi sa mga circle friends mo, meron ako itong isang saintly person na kaibigan. Sobrang saintly niya. The qualities, the knowledge. Diba? Feeling kasi natin yung mga saint lang yung mga na ma- pinakita yung torture, di ba? <laughs> diba ganun lang yung ano? Tapos i ano sila, acknowledge sila as saint kasi napatay na matay sila. <laughs> Either bayani ka or saint ka. <laughs> no, we should develop these saintly qualities. So letter, um, ito, faith to love. This is important. Um, diba we hear then develop, mali develop yung faith. That's Shraddha. Then, because of association, kung sino nga kasama mo, that's Sadhu Sangha. Sangha is association. Sadhu is saint. So, may saintly association. Paano masabi saintly association? Anong topic yung usapan ninyo? Di ba yung lower, lower, lowest class, pinag-usapan nila ibang tao? Di ba? Chismis, di ba? Parang napaka-low class. And then, of course, higher class, of course, yung mga plants, yung mga dreams, and all. But, we must... Um, Seek yung sadhu sangha. Yung may elevation of consciousness. Having that um, circle. So, malayo ka dun sa sadhu sangha. Malayo ka dun sa spiritual na association. Madali ka madala ng energy, ng material energy. So, next, of course, bhajan na kriya. Ginagawa niya to. You're doing your bhajan. Bhajan means you're always doing your sadhana. You're chanting. You're attending the classes. You're trying to develop yourself every day. That's bhajan. Anartha Nivriti is removing the unwanted baggages. Hindi nyo nakapansin na mawawala. Yung iba, of course, may obvious. O hindi naman ako pumupote. Hindi naman ganun yun. <laughs> Or parang hindi bumabata yung skin ko pag nagkachanta ko. Hindi ganun yung usapan. Eh. So unwanted baggages, yung mga previous karmas, hindi na dumatating basta-basta. Sorry, kasi pati yung good karma nawawala. <laughs> so, nakaklense din kasi unwanted. Bakit? We want to remove all the baggages so we could end our cycle here. So, anarita na yung Anarita is the impression, the unwanted baggage. Nishta is becoming fixed. Nagkachant ka na kasi hindi, tinatanong, hindi ka palagi tinatanong ng Radha Charan. Yung mga mentees kasi ganyan yung mga nag-usapan na. Um, some of them... During yung Japa session namin in the morning, um, tinatawagan ako sila ginigising ko. <laughs> so, you chant kasi gusto mo. Fix ka na, hindi dahil sinabi na Radha Charan. Or kasi may challenge. Kasi alam mo yung benefit din sa'yo. Materially and spiritually. Physically then, Mentally then. Ruchi and Ashakti is relishing the taste. Sobrang sarap na. Di ba? Hindi ka na mabubuhay na walang um, connection to the Supreme. Walang chanting. Kasi you know, hindi lang you know, yung nararamdaman mo. Of course, bhava and prema is the spiritual love. Na-develop na yung spiritual love. Actually, hindi siya basta-basta develop. Na-awaken kasi andun talaga siya. Na-remove lang natin yung mga coverings. So that love is there. That knowledge is there. Diba? Satchit ananda. Eternally knowledgeable and eternally blissful. You just have to remove the coverings. You just have to polish the the stone, para lumabas yung, yung diamond. So, andyan siya. So, hindi mo pa din sabihin, ah, wala akong ano, inclination sa spiritual at yun, hindi ako magiging masaya. We're all seeking maging happy. We're all seeking dun sa knowledge. But of course, the relationship is there. The spiritual relationship. It will be awakened at ito itong awakening. Start is reading, um, hearing. Then, we are actually experiences, experiencing this three side, um, Actually, four, four of this. Right now, we're hearing, starting to have faith, having association, doing our bhajans, or tatawag yung sadhana, everyday practice, and of course, removing ng mga unwanted baggage. Then, it will develop. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Padayan nga. So, king, ang bilis ng oras. Glories of Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti is very simple process. Kasi minsan hindi mo nga kailangan ng um, scholar na mind. <laughs> Very simple lang. Sign of an intelligent person engages in Krishna's loving service to achieve permanent bliss in the boat of the eternal happiness. That is, with Krishna. Kasi with 
sign of an intelligent person, bakit ka mag-aaksaya ng oras? It doesn't mean that you don't um, become responsible sa duties mo or iwanan mo yung work mo. No. That is your ways and means para magawa, ma-maintain mo yung body, wala kang mga troubles, di ba, may savings ka, di ba? magawa mo yon, safe yung mga loved ones mo, but still having time and endeavor and energy sa spirituality. At yung tatawag na finding the sweet spot or the balance. At yung tituro ni Krishna kay Juno, yung find your balance. Pero ano yung balance na yon <laughs> The balance of spirituality and um, our material life, spiritual life and material life. But if puro mat- spiritual life ka lang, you deserve ka ng material life mo. Body mo. Diba? Hindi mo inalagaan. You deserve ka niya. Mahirap mag-chat, mahirap mag-meditate kasi ang dami masakit. Puro material life ka lang, you deserve ka rin talaga ng um, sense of purpose ng mind. So it doesn't mean na 24 hours, 12 hours ka kailangan nag-chant. No, just, you just need one hour, two hours dedicated sa uh, spiritual life. The rest will have the benefit. The whole day will have the benefit. And magiging spiritual na rin yun the rest. Krishna accepts anything offered in love. A leaf, fruit, or water. So, ito yung um, secret ingredient. Patrampus pam palam toyam nyo me bhaktiya prayachati tadaham bhakti uparitam ashnami prayatatuna. Can you could read this, uh, Marlene? One offers me with love and devotion a leaf, a flower, a fruit, or water. I will accept. So, ito yung secret ingredient. Everything that we do, lagi mo ng love and devotion para kay Krishna. Kasi yun yung connection mo. Ngayon, magkakamining kung bakit mo ginagawa yung ginagawa mo. Bakit ka nagiging mom, nagiging father, nagiging um, artist, nagiging teacher, your yoga teacher. Yeah. You will know. At paano rada siya rin? Wala namang connection. And the fruit, the money, you know how to use it. You will know how to use it. No, may goal ka na. It will help you. It will fuel yung life mo na magkaroon ng spirituality. So, kailangan mo maintain eh. So, may meaning. Kakaroon ng meaning lahat. A deeper purpose. Di ba? Sabi nga ng mga motivation speakers yan. No? Simon Sinek. Di ba? Um, start with why. Di ba? Um, to um, make a dent on earth. Ano ba? Paano mo pa yung why? Para makatulong. To spread kindness. Ano klase? Spread kindness by giving meat to them. Tapos, um, or products na nakakadamage sa earth. Or nakakadamage dun sa, or hurt dun sa ibang living entity. So, hindi pa rin siya kindness. It's, an, it's another way lang on just giving. Pero na deeper purpose na yun. That is to connect. With love and devotion. And of course, in that way, yung mga tao sa paligid natin, magtatanong. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, may mga nagtatanong sa inyo, ba't yung vegetarian to? Diba parang, or iba yung itsura nyo? Or parang iba yung aura mo? And to be honest, looking at you, comparing nyo sa first session natin, you look all different. It's lighter, of course. Diba? Na-experience, well, nararamdaman nyo yun. <laughs> Nakaka-blooming. <laughs> <laughs> no, nararamdaman niyo rin talaga yon. Iba yung aura niyo, iba yung sa consciousness lalabas sa katawan eh. So that's very um that's very true. So the way to connect, yung lahat ng gagawin mo, you must be conscious. May love and devotion ba ako dito para kay Krishna? Paano ko makokonnect kay Krishna to? How could I serve Krishna? So magiging busy ka doon instead of kung saan saan pupunta yung mind mo in depression, in anxiety, in fear, in frustration, punta ka sa past, punta ka sa future. Busy yung mind mo. How to serve Krishna. Para pag may loved one ka, gusto mo isipan, di ba, kahit saan ka pumunta, uy, may flower, oh, naisip mo kagad si Krishna, uy, pwede ko bigay kay Krishna to, may amoy to, eh. Uy, may nakita akong, ano, uh, fruits, bagay, ano, pwede ko to offer kay Krishna. Same, di ba, pag may loved one ka, Uy, namimiss ko si ano, bagay sa kanya to. Dapat kasama ko siya eh. Kumakain kami sa to. Same, di ba? So, mag-iba lahat. Mag-iba yung morning mo, makita mo yung sunrise. 
Lalo mo si Krishna. Kaya Krishna consciousness, that is yoga outside the mat. All day, all night. The glories of Bhakti Yoga, si Krishna parang, ayun niya, nililigawan mo na spoon feeding. Sobrang importante itong verse na to, na inulit niya to sa last chapter. Pero, it was mentioned, si Amaya ba could you read? I don't know if may mic ka. Man mana baba mad bakto, mad yajimam namas kuru, mam evais chasikal yuk taivam, at manam matraya, mat paraya naha. Translation. Engage your mind, always in thinking of me, become my devotee, offer abhyan. Abhisamsas to me and worship me. Being completely absorbed in me, surely you will come to me. Diba? Thank you, thank you. It's one feeding. How to love me? How to become more, much more dear to me? How to become a proper student? How to become a proper soul? And then gagawin mo? Engage your mind always in thinking of me. Kaya Krishna consciousness, always think of him. Become my devotee, of course. Devotee means with devotion. Not just um, routine lang. Nalala ko sa school kasi, um, kailangan kami magsimba, tapos pipiro mo yung pari doon sa index card. Hindi <laughs> ko na na-experience yung mga school niya. Sabi may ganun eh. Uh, Kore talaga yung school namin. Tami to. Tami. Well, talaga nag-isimba ako when I was younger. Sa Christian kasi talaga ako noon. So, papiro mo kami. <laughs> so, pero siyempre, out of duty, kasi may grade. <laughs> oh, may ganon. So, oh, kasi may grade. Diba? Mayroong ano, halaman gawin. Oh, sometimes, kailangan natin gawin yon para to jumpstart. Pero siyempre, just an example na um, parang pag may, may partner ka, kasi mag-love you ka nga sa akin, di ba? Eh, hey, ano ka, di ba, parang di mo naman ako love eh. Pinipilit mo, di ba? But that's not, that's not love. It's by, um, force. Di ba? So, my devotion. Offer obeisances. Obeisances is like the pranam or bowing down. Physically and of course, in the mood. Worship me, of course. Different worship. Different um, kinds of worship. You offer flowers. You offer incense. Nagkakasense na yung mga offering. Di ba, may mga ano tayo. May yung ibang mga new age, may mga sages, cleansing, kinikleanse nila lahat. Di ba? <laughs> Tapos nawawala na yung mga boy, yung boyfriend mo, yung ano, relationship mo. So, kasi toxic, you know? <laughs> tinatanggal. <laughs> Tapos, pa-cleanse-cleanse ka, di ba? O, yan, tinatanggal. <laughs> Or malay mo, ikaw pala yung toxic daw, ikaw yung nawawala. <laughs> ano nangyayari sa akin? <laughs> well, that's just one thing. Um, example lang naman to, ha. Huwag yung masyari seryosohin. Um... Magkakaroon ng sense yung mga ganitong worship. Di ba parang ano yung worship natin? Bato? Crystals? Di ba? Don't worship them. There are tools. You can recharge them. Ito yung mga nangyayara sa kanila. But you don't worship them. Yung iba lahat ng altar nilagay nila. Di ba? Di ba? Nakulang nilang lahat ng picture ng ex nila nandun eh. Kinukulang pala yun. No? Hindi pala yung worship. So, um, we know how to worship. Like offering, di ba sabi ni Krishna, offer me fruit, flower, water. Diba? With love and devotion, I will accept it. So, no, you know. Offer ka ng water, offer ka ng fruit. Diba? Very simple lang yung gusto niya. Hindi niya sinabi yung magarbo, magarbo. Of course, it's not also a limit para hindi natin ibigay sa kanya yon. Maganda mo yung, if you have an altar, ganda mo, linisan mo. How to know if you are a spiritual person? Ano yung center ng bahay mo? The big television? Or you have an altar, your sacred space. Diba? Saan nagubuhos ng pera? <laughs> Sa entertainment showcase. Ngayon, hindi kasi masyado uso na yun eh. Kasi may cellphone na eh. But yeah, I grew up seeing, um, ba nag-travel ako, ganun talaga. Nakikita ko pa rin yun. May theater sila sa loob ng bahay. Tapos yung altar napakaliit. Or minsan wala. Diba? May cross na nakapat, nakapako sa ano. Noon pa sa CR. <laughs> diba? Parang, ano yung naka-center sa buhay mo? Makita mo sa bahay mo. Ano naka-center? So, same. The place of worship, di ba? You offer what? So, napaka-simple lang ang gusto ni Krishna, but you have to put love and devotion. Okay? You, that's the form of worship. We will learn about this. How to make your space, your sacred space, your little temple. 
sa temple and just do the worship. Being completely absorbed. Sobrang absorbed. Lagi mo inaisip. Lagi mo na, lagi mo siya naisip. Laging, um, kahit anong, ma- alam mo, pag in love na in love ka, lahat ng bagay, nakikita mo yung mukha ng person na in love ka. Ganun kay Krishna. And it's spiritual. Way beyond that analogy. Surely you will come to me. So, pag ganito ka araw-araw, pag namatay ka, talagang maisip mo si Krishna. If di mo siya maisip, Krishna will um, personally be there to make you remember Him or just get your soul. Kasi very dear nga sa iyo. So, ito yung purpose ba't yung mga monks meron ding sikha aside from covering yung crown chakra nila is where Krishna will get you. <laughs> yung mga babae ninyo kailangan magpasik, magpakalma. Automatic meron kayo niya. <laughs> or minsan, that is um, uh, figuratively, ah. minsan ganun din, <laughs> yung guru, gagawin yung ulo ng, ng monk. Um, getting you out from, ano, from illusion. <laughs> uh, same, di ba yung mga teachers natin bringing us out do sa darkness? That's the meaning of yung invocation natin, o magyan na tinaranda siya. Bringing us out sa darkness. By Torch light of knowledge. Yung ilaw is the knowledge. So the teacher is free. Sorry, surely you will come to me. So that is king. I'm very sorry sa mabra na ako sa oras. Knowledge, of course, by hearing. We will receive the knowledge. And continuously, we, will, we need to hear. For us to develop that knowledge. Even matagal na matagal na. We were also reading. Ang daming libro. <laughs> about um, spirituality, lalo na lalo um, is Krishna consciousness, the bona fide ones, asawa ka, kulang yung, uh, yung oras mo. Sino ba dito yung book reader talaga? Yung mga sabi yung book reader? Oh, si Marlene, sige, mag-uusap tayo. Sino pa? Sino pa? You can raise your hand dito sa ano, chat box. Very rare, mga, ano, ay, si Maya, okay, sige. Marami akong ano, Maraming libro, of course, from the temple. Pero marami rin akong e-book. Nasa na ba yun? Ay, nilagay ko na doon. That would focus on um, Christian consciousness, a deeper yoga philosophy. Ay, si Rochi din pala. Okay. Ay, nakilala ko na yung mga ano, kabook love ko. We're creating a library here. Next time, bibigyan ko yung palagi ng pass sa library. <laughs> so, very important yun. Inconceivable relationship. Relationship natin kay Krishna, we will not merge. Hindi tayo mawawala. You have your own identity. Your own relationship kay Krishna. Nayala niyo yung five relationship kay Krishna. The first assignment. No, the passive. Um, the active or in own reverence. Parang, oh, ano, sobrang taas. Tapos sobrang baba mo. Like a um, master servant. Or those very friendly relationship. Nag-wrestling sila. Christian, gano'n. May ka-wrestling yung mga um, coward boyfriends niya. Mga nagka-pastor sila ng baba. Nag-alaro sila. Or, um, anak mo si Krishna. Parental love. And the highest is the conjugal love. A lover. So, hindi nawawala yung identity mo. Depende ko na relationship mo sa kanya. It will be revealed. Non-worship, there are Duratmas and Mahatmas. Yung close-minded and the broad-minded. Expansion, expanded yung consciousness nila. Hindi dahil, ah, broad-minded ako, lahat papaniwalaan mo. Kaya may process tayo how to know ano yung na- right knowledge. Anong papasok mo sa, sa, sa consciousness mo. And of course, the glories of Bhakti Yoga. That is a secret ingredient. Bakit? Ito yung glories ng Bhakti Yoga. Kasi, you should put love and devotion. When you chant now, you put your love and devotion. When you try to offer flowers, a picture ni Krishna, you put love and devotion. Even fruit or even water. So, I can send you a um, picture, yung mga bona fide na paintings ni Krishna. Pati yung mga paintings ni Krishna according to sa scriptures, kung paano niya dinescribe yung sarili niya. Hindi ka pwede manghula lang. Di ba, like si Nazareno, naging black na siya. Dahil true time. Para totoo, si Krishna, Krishna is black. Blackish, uh, bluish, and blackish um, hue. And also, his expansion, Shimati Radharani, is feminine. So, God is a woman. 
So, wild well, naman. Mind blown. Of course, eto nga, may mga nagpipaint according dun sa description sa scriptures. Hindi sila nanguhula. Kung ano itsura nila, ano yung suot nila, and all. May makikita ka sa Pinterest sa internet, yung iba medyo Bollywood painting ni Radha and Krishna. That's not um, um, legit. Hindi nila alam yung pinipaint nila. So, you cannot, alam mo yun, make it, make this up. So, yeah, if you want to print, maglagay ka, gawa ka ng sacred space mo. Magiging personal na yung, ano mo, yung altar mo. Hindi na kung ano-ano lang na hinalo mo sa mga, nabibili mo sa antique store. <laughs> Chapsoy na may Japanese, may Chinese, <laughs> may elements na kung ano-ano, may previous memory mo, tas may picture ng lola mo. Ang <laughs> gulo na. I grew up with, with this. Yung mga buong galaw house na po, kung ano-ano, meron sa altar. Tapos lahat lalagyan nila ng ano, sa pagita, di ba? So you can offer flowers, of course. How? Don't smell the flowers before offering kay Krishna. But you need to know, kailangan yung offer mo flowers kay Krishna. May scent like kalachuchi, di ba? Sa pagita. Don't smell it. Offer it to Krishna. Let him enjoy. Then in the night, pag kinuha mo yung flower, you can smell it. That is called prasadam. You'll get the benefit. It's his gift to you. So ganun din sa fruit. Don't take it. Don't taste it. Cut the fruit, offer it kay Krishna. After the 10 minutes, you meditate. Naya, um, it's not just imagination. Krishna is um, off, um, receiving your offering with love and devotion. You chant Hare Krishna. Then take it. That's prasadam. Of course, may long process yun. But the mood, at least you get the essence. So that's the glories of Bhakti Yoga. The secret ingredient in your spiritual journey is Bhakti. Bhakti. Love and devotion. Pag wala nun, routine lang. <laughs> so, in building that relationship, we know. So, please open your cameras with love and devotion. <laughs> so, picture muna tayo. Si ano daw, no? Ang sabi ni... <laughs> so, comedy rin kayo. Kayo yung batch na maraming yun, eh, no? Uh, mas enlightened ang noo ko <laughs> Ako din, di ba? Malakas ako pa para mas mahilo. Ah. <laughs> so yes, yes. Speakers tayo, everyone. The knowledge actually is the source of enlightenment. Lumalabas siya. Hare Krishna, I'm so happy to always see you every evening. Hello, hello. Mm. Si Maui, dalawang personality ngayon dito. <laughs> Ayun si Krishna. Nakita nyo ba? Nakita nyo ba si Krishna na ano? Krishna is so naughty. Kaya minsan mapansin mo yung buhay mo at parang, ah, pagkalaroon ako ni Krishna. Ang daming, ang daming ano, um, scenario dadaling ka. Tapos dito ka mag-end up, magkukonnect ka pala sa kanya. After all these heartbreaks, after all this frustration, ito pala, nire-ready ka lang pala ni Krishna. He's so naughty. Makikita mo. <laughs> If you want to see mga glimpse ng pastime niya, watch niyo sa YouTube si you know, Little Krishna. And there's also a Krishna book if you bought the bundles. Um, after your batch, we will have this Good Night Krishna. So, hindi, um, inaabangan mo yung batch 6 yun kasi ito yung magiging continuation. So, picture mo, ayan yung Krishna book na, na kay Keiko. Life ni Krishna yun. So, discuss natin yan. So, picture mo na tayo everyone. You can do your pronouns. You can smile. Hi, my Joe. <laughs> Hare Krishna. One, two, three. One more. One, two. Always grateful, humbled, and honored um, for the opportunity to serve and also to discuss and to have your saintly association. Naman, nagkakahilo na kayo lahat. Sobrang nakakatawa kasi it's um, a rare opportunity to find mga souls na interested in spirituality much for a very serious student. So, homework muna. Napaganda na ito. Read verse 9.26 tapos write your realization in 3 to 5 sentences. <laughs> Dami na sa akin ito. Hindi nyo makakopya ito kasi may, sent- ano, may realization. Read the verse, verses and purports in 10.8, 9, 10, 11. So this is the essence. Kit ng git na ng Bhagavad Gita. And may movie review tayo. I will forward the movie review sa ating group chat. Um, the instructions will be 
You will write, may questions naman doon, pero you will send it to me. So thank you very much, Amaya. Jeff, um, back to Amaya, back to Jeff, back to Jesse, back to Joyce, um, back to Kyle, back to Keiko, back to Marge, back to Marge, back to Kaloy, back to Marlene, back to Maijo, back to Rob, back to Rochi, back to Maui, Hare Krishna. And of course, um, ito na, application. <laughs> Actions speaks louder than words. It's gonna be weird. Diba? Mo to sa mga friends mo. And some will be interested for sure. Give them a, give them mga small books about Krishna. Mga higher taste or chant and be happy. It will be an introduction to them. But for us to practice this, we must try to be always Krishna conscious. Apply it, apply the learning sa mga bawat kalaw natin. That's the real being the present, being the now. Paano mo ina-apply? Hindi yung being the now. Ay, alam ko to. <laughs> no. Ano consciousness natin? So that's very important. And I have few slots for this Saturday's vegetarian bar- um, barbecue party. Some will, will go there. Si, ano, si Maui. Others, <laughs> si Keiko. Keiko, marami pa, marami pa. Hot pot daw yata next time. <laughs> At what party? It's just like really relaxed na getting together the meet and greet ng mga previous students and previous mga, mga from the city and reopening ng temple. So yeah, we're reopening here sa UPLB um, soon, hopefully. Pag nag-face-to-face sila, we'll open the restaurant there and um, a back to lounge in the city very soon. <laughs> sobra, sobra. Malapit lang. Uh, yeah, Oh, sure, next time, malapit mo lang, Jesse. Malapit na malapit ka lang. You can... Uh, okay, pupunta ka namin sa farm mo dyan. <laughs> malapit mo lang. <laughs> okay, if you need to do your duties, please do so. Um, please chant if you haven't um, chanted today. But if you have questions or reflections for tonight's session, or yung mga nababasa ninyo, or the previous nights, you can raise your hands or you can unmute. <laughs> Ang color from the background ni Maya. Is that your wall? Yeah, um my sister was the one who who painted it. I just came home like a few this is like pre-covid pa. I just came okay. home one day from work and then the wall was colored. Mm, nice. At that time she was going through her sabbatical so she was like doing a lot of hobbies and all of that. So one of it was this wall. <laughs> yeah, oh, mga pandemic skills, no? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Ang dami ko rin trinay maging ano eh. Ang dami ko rin na-develop na pandemic skills. Kasi I was in quarantine for almost two years. Kasi lumalabas ako. The rest of them here, um, they're not going out. So para maging COVID-free. Ako lang lumalabas. Pag nandito ako, club crutch. Nandun ako sa ashram, I cook for myself. Hi, hello lang kami from a distance. <laughs> Tapos ang dami kong develop lahat. Um, mostly, we shave each other na head. Kasi we have a sika, so you have to shave around the, the hair on the back. So kailangan ko matuto mag-shave na mag-isa. Na hindi mo damage yung hair mo. So ang dami, ang dami kong... Kakaiba yung pandemic, ano? Mag-zoom. <laughs> Bumalik ako sa social media. <laughs> Sarap mag-absent. Pero, yeah, may mga purposes. Painting is really nice. Really nice. Diba? Nag, bumalik ako dun sa art sa arts ko. Nag-collage-collage na naman ako. Pero hindi ko dinidikat. Temporary lang. Gawin ko yung collage. Patong-patong ko sila. I have India pic. Pag nag, nag, nag-photo ako sa, ano, sa India. Last na visit ko dun kasi dala ko film camera. So, puro films. Tapos, collage-collage. Tapos, hindi ko dinidikat yung collage. Temporary lang. So, yung mga pinagkaabalahan ko. But I'm also going going out back. Ngayon naman, um, magiging less for some time. Kasi it's like a recharge for um, the succeeding ng mga projects. But yeah, hopefully next time makataan kayo dito. I've posted some. Eh. Um, we have a restaurant also here inside. Tapos we have a farm. The biggest yoga hall. Um, mga retreat houses. Waterfalls. Tsaka maraming toko. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maingi sila sa gabi. <laughs> We're in the middle of the forest kasi. <laughs> Kaya gano'n. Naging plantita. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. May plantita ka ba, Joyce? Mano ba? Hindi, <laughs> yun ako kasi. Mahilig siya sa halaman. So, na, na ano ako. Na-discover. May green thumb ka pala. Na, na, ako rin pala. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. So, dito sa loob ng... ng nasa ano ko. Kasi ako eh, condo. So, mm. syempre, ano... <laughs> hindi siya raw. So, tinapat ko siya sa bintana. Kumuha talaga ako ng unit na malaki yung bintana. Paka- pangarap ko yun eh, magkaroon ng bintana na malaki. Mula sa bubong hanggang sa baba. Oh. Yung... Ganon. So, lahat... so, may puno ako dito sa loob ng bahay ko. May puno. <laughs> Meron kong sariling ano, sariling forest dyan. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, bugubat na nga eh. <laughs> Yun yung na-discover ko na kaya ko pala maging halamom. Kaya may halamoms. Okay. Apotekary. Ayun pala yun. Ayun yeah. Yun. Galing, galing. Pandemic glow. <laughs> yeah, of course, yung marami na tut- mag- nag-start mag-yoga during pand- pandemic. And meditation, di ba? Start ka. Or just to be curious about life. Having a lot of much... Um, Um, awaited na questions nila na lumabas ngayon, nag-sprout bigla. May ganito pala akong um, inclination sa spirituality or sa mga meditation, di ba? Okay ba? Um, kapag naalis tayo sa comfort zone natin, doon nagkaka, ano eh, nagkaka chance to grow or minsan pressure, di ba? Kailangan ng pressure to grow. Si Krishna, yun nga, nakita mo yung picture niya. Natawa ka talaga eh. Marilis mo ngayon. Take a look back sa life mo. Kung paano ka na, na, ano, na toss around ng life. Tapos, ito pala yung end up mo. No, ang dami mo din na ang dami mong energy. Tapos, you really want to get to know him. Tapos, ito na. Complete detail. Pati yung tsura ng hikaw ni Krishna. Makikita mo. Shark-shaped earrings. The lotus um, petal eyes. Yung, yung hair niya, kung anong decoration sa hair niya. Pati yung hair niya dun sa chest niya, may name din yon Magugulat ka, pati yung jewelries. So, so detailed. So, so nice. So, so personal. So, yes. Um, I would love to hear your reflections. And please, please, exciting tong movie review na to. You will get to see other back to yogis then sa documentaries na to. Um, dalawa yon dalawang movie. Actually, mas marami pa nga eh. Marami pa ang mga nakapila. Pero let's see. Uh, at the same time, ano pala ngayon? Thursday ba ngayon? So, wala pala tayo bukas. But yeah, please continue to chant your rounds. If you could attend yung mga sessions natin in the morning. Um, same room, same password. Um, 5.30 pa lang nakastart na yung Zoom hanggang 7 o'clock yon The Japa session, 5.30 to 7. Saka 7 to 8 will be the podcast. A deeper study ng yoga philosophy. Ang ganda kasi it's talking about relationship, yung mga struggles natin, or um, yung mga challenges natin na minsan tayo yung um, victim or tayo yung suspect. <laughs> Kung parang iba, iba, ibang angulo. Iba, ibang angulo. This, um, from the Srimad Bhagavatam, the next um, books after the Bhagavad Gita. So you can continue that. Ayan, may Srimad Bhagavatam si Keiko. Hindi lang nag-iisa yan. Ang dami yan. <laughs> that's the start. One to eight chapter lang yan. So that's the first canto. Pero it's a whole library. Pero we're studying this and um, extracting yung mga relevant mga wisdom na magagamit natin in daily lives. So thank you very much. Um, Joyce, Keiko, Amaya, Maui, Rob, Martian Kaloy, Marlene, Maya Jo, Kyle, Hare Krishna, Prabhu, Sinmatajis. Bye.